Hey map builders, it's Josh with Map Effects, and I just wanted to quickly show you how to import your map builder brushes into one of these drawing apps if you're working on an iPad. So once you've downloaded the file from a map effects shop, just come in here to your files, navigate to wherever you've saved it, and you should just see this zipped file here. And this is important, you want to make sure that you tap and hold on it, and then select uncompress, and just give it a minute or two and it should create a duplicate file right here that's unzipped. And this is going to be the one that you open to import your brushes. If you try to do it from the zipped file, it's not going to work. It's going to give you an error message. So make sure you don't skip that step. But now we can come on here to our files. And this happens to be the dungeon map builder, but this will work for all of the different map builders and brush packs. Just come in here to brushes and then you're just going to select the file for whichever drawing app that you're using. So let's just start with Procreate because that's actually the easiest one. And all you have to do is select each of these files one at a time and it'll import that, those brushes into Procreate. So just tap on it, it should open it up into Procreate and you'll see it right here on the top. And like I said, you'll just have to do that for each one. This is essentially a different folder that will open up into the app. The next one is Photoshop, and this one is a little bit different. If you navigate to here and tap on this file, it will error out, it won't work like it would if you were on a computer. So what you have to do is come in to the Photoshop app, select the brush panel, and then you're gonna select this plus button at the bottom and just tap on import from files and you'll just navigate to wherever it is that you've saved your file select this file and it will import them into your photoshop app if you're working in clip studio paint if you're well, i should say if you're on the computer it's actually different um, normally you'd just be able to come into the brushes select this and select these three horizontal lines here and click on import subtool, navigate to the file, and it would import it. For whatever reason, it doesn't appear to be working that way if you're working on an iPad anymore. So the way that you can get around that is just tap on the file, and what you're gonna do is just tap and hold, and go down to share. And if you don't see Clip Studio popping up here, just scroll over until you can click on more and then you'll scroll down until you see Clip Studio and then it will import the brushes into your file. And then last but not least, if you're working in Affinity Photo, you should be able to just tap here and select the file. And actually, that's a good example. So if you have multiple drawing apps on your iPad, sometimes the file will get confused. So it errored because it tried to import that Affinity brush file into Clip Studio, so it didn't work. So now what we have to do to fix that, is again, tap and hold, click on Share, scroll over, tap on More, and then you can select whether you have Affinity Photo 2 or the original one, both will work, but you, then you can just tap on that and then it will import it into Affinity. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. It's just a little different depending on what app that you're using, but hopefully you found this helpful and I look forward to seeing your map.